drops 10 vile words that leave Washington speechless. It is unlikely that Congresswoman Maxine Waters realizes what an asset she is to the conservative cause. This is a notion that has been discussed before. Stop and think for a moment. You are a Democratic leader in the House with a crucial legislative initiative you want to propose. Would you really want Ms. Waters to lead the charge, especially if it meant her appearing on nationwide television? She basically has one message and it's one she doesn't even articulate very well. President Trump is bad. Everything he proposes is bad. His supporters are bad. And the only good thing to be done is find a way to remove him from office, no matter how improbable or unjustifiable that may be. Hence, with not a drop of creativity in her, she is nothing but a bore who contributes nothing of value in return for her shockingly astronomical pay. To give her some credit, she has at least expanded her vitriol to include members of Trump's cabinet. Maybe she's worn herself out with her constant criticism of the president, so now she needs to find some new targets. Remember, this is a lady with a lot of animosity to offload. So now Trump's entire cabinet is fair game, though it's unlikely they're losing a lot of sleep over Waters' latest inane tirade. Via IJR We have power, we have influence. We can do things that others have told us we can't do. I don't care how big you are. I don't care how high you think you are. If you come for me, I'm coming for you. And so whether it's the President of the United States of America or any of his cabinet, we will say to them, we will resist you. We will not allow you to damage this country in the way that you're doing. We will not allow you take us backward. Not only will we resist you, we will impeach you. Mr. President. There's Miss Waters at her finest. That's nothing but a bunch of meaningless bombast, she's stuck on the grade school playground shouting nasty things at people. Probably if people didn't listen she'd start stamping her feet. If she has concrete ideas that are coherent and have any possibility of moving our nation forward, she has managed to keep them well hidden. To return to the original theme. Republicans should do everything they can to keep Maxine and Nancy Pelosi talking as much as possible, preferably with as much publicity as possible. After all, the sort of help they can provide to the conservatives through their nonsensical rants is campaign material the Democrats are gifting them. Very valuable, indeed. A thank you note to the DNC would be the gracious thing to do, fellow conservatives. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.